This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Audible. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here with another What's in My Doc video. I'm about to show you some of my favorite applications I'm currently running right now. And the first application I'm going to show you is one that's been very popular on the iOS platform. This is called Nova 2. And this came out for the iPhone uh, about two years ago. And this is the sequel to one of the best games, one of the best first person shooting games I ever played on a cell phone. And I call it kind of the halo of. Uh, of iOS, but now it's available in the Mac App Store, so you can play this on your Mac here. So I'm gonna try to give you a good little demonstration of it as this guy keeps flying around, and I'm gonna end that. Oh no, I failed. I'll try to freeze him, just like a. Oh, I can. What the hell? Come here. There you go. Freeze him. All right, so you can right-click on the, uh, the mouse and freeze the person there as I kept um, failing at that attempt to do that. Um, but anyway, the, the game is, again, not, not going to be gra not gonna be like crisis graphics and all that stuff and crisis gameplay. It's a very cheap game uh, as far as the price is concerned, but you will have some fun with it, I think, again, for first-person shooters on the Mac. You're kind of limited to them, and let me freeze that guy there. And it may be a melee, but I can't remember, and uh, I'm not going to try to find out. I think I just threw a grenade. Yeah, I just did. It's been a while since I played this game. But uh, the game is pretty solid. The cutscenes are nice. I mean, it, again, this would be something you can have some fun with. And also does have multiplayer as well. So you can play some uh, local um, multiplayer or you can play online and get some people all across the world if you wanted to. And I'm going to try to take down this robot with this tracking missile thingy here. There we go. Anyway, this game is called Nova 2. I just decided to show it to you guys. One of my favorite games on the iPhone. Um, it's now available in the Mac App Store. So you want to check it out if you want a, a first-person shooter to go ahead and play. Now, the next application I'm about to show you is called Clip Wrap. And this is something that a lot of people may not need to use, but if you ever work with any type of video editing or um, you work a lot with the AVC HD file format. You know that a lot of applications don't play that .mts file that you get from those type of uh, um, uh, videos. So you need to actually convert them over. So this is a really good application that converts them over very, very fast. And uh, so I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm going to add a uh, file here. So I'm going to go down here to these files right here. And these are our uh, video that I took on my Sony camera here that shoots in the AVC HD file format. And um, uh, but I can't play the Mac. I can't do preview anything like that with them. But so I'm going to convert them over to get them over to H.264 and make a .mov file out of them. Um, so anyway, I just in add that into the application and hit convert to not set mark, but hit convert. And you can see here it's it's converting them very very fast. And this is this file itself. I think is about 150 meg. So it's not entirely too small of a file, but it also it's not a huge file. But you can see in just nine seconds, and I've had it um, perform even faster than that. It's converted the file over. Now I can go ahead and open that file up. As I open up Finder, and there is the file right there, and I can hit the preview. I can add this to iMovie, add this to ScreenFlow, add, add it to basically any application because most applications do work with H.264. The next application I'm going to show you is called Motion FX, and this one is for the kids. This is like photo booth on on drugs or something like that. Um, so this uh, application allows you to do crazy effects with your hands. You can have it track your hands and um, have all these little different explosions or whatever coming out the screen. Uh, also too, you can have it track the mouse and it's kind of a uh, like a painting mode. You can paint with the mouse uh, with the effects. Also you can have it um, follow your eyes as well. So it tracks your face and follows your eyes and have those things coming out. Um, and so you can snap, you can, you can take a snapshot to take a picture of you doing these crazy kooky things and post them wherever you want to post them. Probably not that many places places when you're an adult, uh, but also you can hide the video button on or off. So this is just a, a, a quick little fun, to, I say the kid inside of me, I have fun playing around with this probably for like three minutes or so, but it's free. Check it out if you want to. All right, that is called uh, Motion FX. Right, the next thing I'm going to show you today, if you probably noticed at my dock itself, I don't really, you don't really see my dock, do you? You just see the applications themselves. So um, I, I achieved this by using this um, application called Mirage. And so there's another free application you can do. And it'll uh, make everything uh, invisible, including the dock or the separators or the indicators, however you want to. And also it works with stacks, but sometimes they may have some issue with stacks. But anyway, I just go ahead and hit install if you want to achieve this effect down here. And also anytime that you start having problems, or you don't want to have this effect anymore, just hit that restore button and it'll restore everything back to normal. So this is called Mirage. Thanks to my boy Max McIntosh for showing this as one of his latest What's In My Doc videos on YouTube. Uh, the next application I'm going to show you is called Memory Free, or let me drag this little guy over here. But this one allows you to free up memory that may be uh, being used by applications that may be inactive or some things that just maybe get bogged around and just thrown around in, in your system. And you may not know that you're not really getting the best out of your system. This 
Uh, the next application I'm about to show you is called Memory Free. Your name is Drag, this little guy over here from my other screen. And this little application allows you to get the best performance. Well, not totally. I mean, it just allows you to, to, to boost your performance up a little bit by freeing up some of the memory that may be tied up somewhere else or uh, may be inactive somewhere or may just get lost in the sauce. Um, so it's a $1 application and it shows you how, many, how much memory you have uh, that's free, how many is wired, how much is active, how much is inactive, and how much has been used. I hit this free memory button. Okay. And we'll see how much I get back by using this. Free the memory, baby. Free the memory. Boom, there we go. So we just freed um, almost a gigabyte uh, of memory. So that's nice, that's good. Almost a gig of memory that's freed. So this is how, how useful this application can be. Just if you ever notice any slowdown, this may be something good for you guys. All right guys, so that's the last application I'm gonna show you today. But before we head out of here, it's gonna take one last look at our sponsor for this video, and that is Audible. And just me personally, I'm not really a book person. I'll just tell you that up front. But I don't mind listening to books when I'm working out or when I'm driving down the road. And Audible is a really good way to do that. They have over 75,000 titles to choose from, from every genre, from thrillers to comedies you'll find something that you'll like and you can listen to these things on iPods your mp3 player basically anything that can play music uh, you can more like when you listen to this audiobook on and uh, so you can pick one up for absolutely free you just want to try this out to see if it's actually worth it I uh, go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash soldier and you get a free audiobook to try out and if you don't want to do anything after that fine you still keep the book that's the cool thing about it so go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash soldier for that all right guys again thanks for watching this video please leave a comment down below about what you think about these applications and also too if you have any suggestions for apps that you may want to see me cover in the future again thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later peace